I don't know if we have any other Deece. light in here. It's decent. We're Deece. going live in four, three, two, in five. Good morning, everybody. It's just populating. Everybody, we're getting underway. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode nine of Rich and Famous. There he is. Hi, Famous. Good morning. Good morning, Richard. Should we fire it up? We should get her going. Should we fire it up? Fire it up. I've got a really good shot here. Oh, this is. Scorsese-esque, I imagine. I, it, you're going to love it later when you go Scorsese. on. Do you know where to find all the prior episodes, Famous? Uh, I believe you can find them on Friendly Rich's YouTube channel. Well done, well done. So you go there and you find it, but let's fire this thing up. Let's get started. I'm coming close to you. Ah. The lighting is perfect, dare I say. Perfect. It's parry, it's parry. Should we get into it, parry? We should do it. All right, everybody. Here it comes now. Episode 9 Oof. of Rich... And Famous. Well, well, one guy is fleshy. One guy is fleshy. The other is furry. The other is furry. We wanted a show. We wanted a show. But we weren't in a hurry. But we're not in a... We haven't a budget. There ain't no budget. A clock. What? Or a clue. A clock or a clue. But we can both talk. We're chit-chatting right now. It's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's what we do. We're live. It's Rich. It's me. And Famu you. It's Rich and Famous. Hey, good morning. Bon matin. Bon matin, mon ami. It's a long time since I've seen you. It has been a long time. And you're looking, dare I say, uh, mighty summery. I feel good. What do you do in the summertime to keep busy, to keep out of trouble? What do you do? Uh, I cross it. Oh, you do the, you're, you're into a full, you're training, you're in training. I am in training. I'm going to be doing a, uh, a mud bog. Okay. Or a mud run, whatever you call them. Welcome to all of our viewers. We've got two in the front room and 16 in the back. Ooh, party we're just in getting, the back. We're populating. We're doing a party in the back, Famous. Party in the back. That's what she said. And now, how are your parents doing? Are they still with us? Too soon, maybe, Famous. Too soon? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get into it. Let's get into it. We, uh, we're, we're just getting the show underway here. We're going to fire up the organ. All right. Okay? We've got a new little treat for you here, Famous. Okay, we're just... <laughs> Okay, everything, we're sound checking everything, everything, we're, we're, we're live here on Facebook, and welcome to episode nine. No. Let's, let's water the plants. Let's water our plants. We're going to water the plant. What record are we going to listen to today? Let's listen to a record. Oh, look what we've got here queued up. It's a celebration of Canadian culture. Triumph, famous. Ah, triumph. We're going to fire it up now. We're going to play this record. Cool. Now, I've hit start. We're just going to give it a minute here. We're going to fire it up. We're firing it up. Oh, you hear that? That's the sound of rock. Now, look at these guys. Can I bring this record over here? Yeah, bring it. Oh, oh. Oh, there we skip. Record couldn't handle trying. Couldn't handle that. Look at these guys. Look at these goofballs. Now, do you know do you know who they are left to right, Femus? Uh, if I I believe on the left, that's drummer Gil Moore. That's Gil Moore. In the middle, that's guitarist Rick Hammett or Amet. Rick Hammett, yeah. And on the left, that's bassist Mike Levin or Levine. 
Wow, we got Gordon Shawcross joining us, and we are just cranking up. Now, what number are we listening to here? That is uh, track number one. 24 uh, hours a day. I think it's track number one on side two. What's another day of rock and roll? One, right All right, okay, we're getting into it. The Easy Life with Triumph, and welcome to Rich and Famous. We're going to water the plants now as we crank the Triumph. Little nose pick for you there. Uh, I got a good garlic aroma under my fingernails. Because guess what, Famous? What's that? I haven't showered. I haven't showered. another day rock and roll? I haven't showered. Now, Gordon Shawcross says their best track is 24 hours a day. No. That's what he's saying. Hey, let's take a look at them in the studio in the back here, eh? Where are they? Do you think they're at Metalworks? Uh, I don't think they created Metalworks yet. This is pre-Metalworks. Look at this. They got a gal in the back just reading uh, the newspaper. Is that a newspaper? Could be. She could be reading about. Or is that a gosh. is that a guitar neck? Oh, don't know. I I don't know what that is. Is that a book or like a snake? Um, what's more rock and roll? She's she's probably reading a snake. Could be. That's pretty rock and roll. And you got this guy here on the phone saying, book and, and, and look, uh, look, man, uh, Famous, he's wearing a Triumph shirt. Oh! So far! Is that, is that Gil Moore? It is. It's Gil Moore with a hat on. That gave it away. And he's wearing a, and now Gordon's saying Cashbox magazine but he's wearing his own triumph shirt that's a badass move that is oh pardon me for the french industry tactic industry tactics let's we got this nice sunshine peering through the window let's water our plant and does the plant have a name uh gilbert let's water gilbert and look we got some nice jazz chords growing in the plant look at those jazz chords what are those what is that a moss a caterpillar moss uh Look, it's like growing out of the, is that real? It, seriously, take a look at this, Famous. It's growing out of the plant. No, 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 this is fake. No, 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 there's a plant growing out of it. It's real. Mrs. McKetrick knows her thing. What kind of a jazz chord is that? It's it's furry. Wow, this track, Cashbox Magazine, is incredible. Well, welcome to Rich and Famous. We got one viewer in the front and 48 in the back now. We are. Oh. We're growing this thing. We're growing this thing. Pull out your Percocet and let's get started. The show is underway. And that is triumph. That is triumph. Welcome to the show. We are cranking it. We're doing a little bit of Canadiana. Canadiana. Canadiana here on the show today. This is episode nine. Uh, did we miss any recent holidays worth noting? Any recent holidays worth noting? Yes, we did. Yesterday was La Fête Nationale pour les Acadiens. Ah, ouais. Mes frères et mes sœurs Acadiens. Ouais. Fameux. Est-ce que vous êtes Acadiens? Uh, un peu. Ah oh, oui? Oui. Uh, Mon grand O. Est-ce qu'il y a un... Ah, answer the phone, please. Should I? Yeah, absolutely. It's bound to be a telemarketer. Okay, okay, let's get it. Where's your phone at? It should be right beside Okay, here I go, here I go. How do I put it on speakerphone? I don't know. Oh, well, they hung up. They hung up. They hung up. Well, that was exciting. We've never had a live call-in. But listen, if, you're, if you want to call us, and uh, we've got a couple of viewers in the front room, uh, if you, do you want to bring in? Let's, let's add in Polly Operman. Let's see if oh, he's... Prince Polly's into coming into the show. We're adding him in. Because that's fun. We like to have a nice time with our friends, only if they're willing. He might be watching on the can, at which point you can hang up, Polly. But keep watching. Yeah, he's not answering. Uh, if you do want in, though, you can have in, because we're going to be doing a quiz show today on episode nine. Uh, Canadiana. Getting it under, under control here. The Acadian Festival began with our friends in triumph. Triumph. Wow, c'était un triomphe. So who's Acadian on your side? Is it your mom or your dad? Can we talk about your parents a little bit? Are they still with us? What is the average lifespan of a moose? 
You're, 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 you're ruining the future. All I know is that this summer is looking very delicious just looking into your eyes. Because you're mighty close and... I've got hungry eyes. Oh, what is that? Corey Hart? Uh, I believe it's Pat Swayze. Pat Swayze. Now listen, how often will you shower in a year, Famous? Will you get in there or do you like the ticks to uh, clean you? Are you tick cleaned? Bathe. You're a bather. In mossy swamps. Now what books do you like to read while you're in the bathtub? Uh, I really like Pierre Burton. Yeah? Uh, Mordecai Rickler. What about this guy? Who's that? Stephen Leacock. Oh, I like Stephen Leacock. Let's let's read a little bit of Leacock oh, here, you by know the way. Who you should read Stephen Leacock with? I have a friend. Oh you? yeah. I have a friend down in the basement. Well, I don't think you've ever met him. Well, bring him up. Bring you him up. My friend DB. I've never met DB. What is that? Decibel? Uh, no, his name's Dan. Hey, look at this. When I pull my hat off, I kind of look like Gil Moore. Are you wet? Do you look like you came out of a shower? Yeah, I'm all wet and losing it, just like. This, no look at this, look at this, look at that look. Straight out of the shower, Gil Moore is bringing it. We got four viewers in the front room. Welcome Whoa. to Rich and Famous. Party in the front. And, and 28 in the back, so we got a total of 32 viewers. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go get my friend DB. Go, go get back. DB, go get Mr. Decibel until I learn his name. And I'm just gonna queue up. His a, name's Dan. His name's Dan, I can't wait to meet Dan. And look at this, we've got a, a Penguin book here, Stephen Leacock, we're gonna do a little reading here. Selected and introduced by Robertson Davies. This is the 25th uh, anniversary edition. Fifth business. Hey, a fifth business. A fifth business. That's right. A little bit of business in the back room. And welcome to the show, John Bailey. Uh, thank you, Gordon Shawcross, for your viewership. And, your, and if you want to enter the show, Gordon, just let me know. We'll bring you in live here. Uh, we're hey. going to... Oh, there's a lot of... Uh, oh, who do we got here? Hey, buddy. Hey, dude. What's your name? Dan. Oh yeah, are you uh, are you friendly? My name is Friendly Rich. Are you friendly? Oh yeah, here, there's my hand. Well, you thanks. Nice to meet five, you, Dan. Five. What's your last name? Uh, bandana. Dan Bandana. Dan Bandana. Dan Bandana. Dan Bandana. Yeah, cool, man. Uh, what are you? Uh, like a a musician? I'm a critic. Oh, you're a critic. Quit slapping me in the face, would you? Okay, cool. Great, great, thanks. I'm a critic of CanCon exclusively. Well, let me read, uh, if you don't mind, Dan Bandana, it's really nice to meet you. Um, can I read you a story? I'm, it's not by Santana. No, it's not, Dan Bandana. It's by Stephen Leacock. Oh, Stephen Leacock. Are you a fan? He is. I'm a, fa I'm a fan of Stephen Leacock. <laughs> yeah, you're a fan, Dan? I'm a fan uh, Stephen Leacock. Dan Bandana, this, uh, you are a fan of Stephen Leacock. Let's read a little bit, shall okay. we? I'm going to keep the shot on you, so I, I just want to see your reaction, okay. if okay. you're yawning or am I, not. Am I, am I, like, improv jazz critiquing? Yeah, why don't okay. you, as I go, okay? Are the Rich Happy? By Stephen Leacock. Let me admit... Okay. The title's a bit wanting. You're wanting. Wanting. Yeah. The title could use the name of a popular Blue Jay. Oh, yeah, like who? Like uh, Builder Lego? Is, is uh, Builder Lego? Builder Lego is a Toronto Maple Leaf. Oh, yeah, like who? Like uh, like, Rance uh, Mullenix? Yes. Is, is Rance Mullenix happy would be a better title. Okay, are the rich happy? Is Rance Mullenix happy? Better. better. Good, good jazz improv, by the way. Thanks. Uh, we still got a loyal three in the front room. Stick with us. Let me admit at the outset that I write this essay without adequate material. This is an essay? Yeah. He admits it's an essay. He just did, Dan. Mm. We're here with Dan Bandana critiquing live in front of us. Mm. I have never known, I have never seen any rich people. What about you, Dan? I've seen some rich people. You know who I saw the other day? Who? Builder Lego. You but oh, I didn't. I'm just joking. Uh, you ever hang out with uh, like Harold Ballard and his wife, his ex-wife? He's passed. Well, back in the day, you don't look so young yourself. I'm, that's true. That's true. I'm not young anymore. Yeah, you ever hang out with Harold Ballard and his old wife? What was her name? Uh, Yolanda. Yolanda Ballard? No. What was her name? Um, Do we remember uh, no. Harold Ballard's wife's name? No. Viewers? No. No. They, they might. Yeah, if you remember Harold Ballard's wife's name, maybe put it in the comments and we'll incorporate it into this. Uh, I'm going to keep going, Dan Bandana. Uh, please, it's really please. nice to meet you. Ripping so far. He's writing an essay. There were not rich at all. They were quite poor. They were hard up. They were pushed for money. They didn't know where to turn for $10,000. Um, 
Rich. Yes, Dan Bandana. Can you scan down the page? All right. Like what? You want me is to skip it, a paragraph? Is there any mention of sub, the likes of a... Um, yes. Felix Pot Dan? Yes. Let me skip two paragraphs and go down here. I'm going to change the shot so okay. that our friends okay. can see it. Uh, we're Are switching. Wendell Clark? As far as I remembered, I have never met Mr. Carnegie. What? But I know, I know that if I did, he would tell me that he found it quite impossible to keep up with Mr. Rockefeller. What do you think about that, Dan Bandana? This is Stephen Leacock. Um, Alive. I don't know these names. Oh, you don't need to know these names? These guys play for the, uh, the, the Toronto Marlies? Not the Toronto Marlies, Dan. I think what you're trying to do there is, uh, do you remember Cito Gaston? Yeah. Do I remember Cito Gaston? Who was the only Canadian player on that team, Dan? Um, Played in the outfield. Oh. Rhymes with Busey. Blob um, Busey. Blob Busey. Rob. Yes. Ducey? Rob Ducey. Now, what do you think gave him that last name, Ducey? Oh, I have a story about this. Go ahead. Rob Ducey used to love to eat fiber. Okay, okay, and yes. He ate so much fiber. Yeah. That when he would drop a deuce, yes, that's he would what... explode. Oh fast. my, Dan Bandana! That's the inside scoop. Uh, Dan, it is so nice to meet you. We've got five viewers in the front right now, so let's Whoa. hold the fort. We're here with our new friend, Dan Bandana, expert in Canadiana literature. I have my own show. What's your show called? Canadiana Rama with Dan Bandana. Canadiana Rama with Dan Bandana. The Canadiana Rama. With Dan Bandana Extravaganza. Well, that that's a, that sounds like a wild show, Dan. It is a wild ride through Canadiana, both old and new. Uh, Dan, are do do others uh, in the industry consider you to be a like a nice guy, or are you like a tough mm, critic? I'm I'm known as a tough critic. I hold C people to high standards. How do you pronounce known? Do you pronounce it known or known? Known. Okay, so yeah, so you're a little bit of a snob at times. Uh, I have high standards. Uh, if you're welcoming enough, I do this to all of my new friends. Can I put my uh, some of my dirty fingernails in your mouth? Sure. Okay, here it we go. Doesn't even go into my throat. Oh, you are you feeling that? Okay. Uh, oh, you're not able to talk though when I do that. No, but no, but, it is a mouth. Just give it a lick and tell me what you taste. Mm, that tastes like... Old garlic, uh, old garlic, um, old garlic. Older garlic. Are you a fan of garlic? I am. I'm, I'm part uh, uh, Italian. Oh, oh, that's interesting that you would bring up the Italian piece when I mentioned the old garlic. Oh, it's, it's very interesting. Are you uh, like a full-on Italian? No, I'm half Italian. Oh, so you're like me, so... Do you shower like me once a year on your birthday? Are you that Italian? Um, I shower exclusively in sinks. In sinks? In sinks. Oh, right. Great, great, great. Well, you look really clean and you smell but great. I'm, I'm, I'm much smaller than you, so it is much like a bathtub. Hey, Dana, stick around. Dana, Dana, Dan Bandana. Stick around with me because I'm going to introduce you to one of my old Italian friends here. All right. uh, a staple on the show of Rich and Femus. Get ready for him now. This is... Vito! Vito. Vito Scarolitis. Do you remember Vito Scarolitis? Uh, I've never met him before. He's got a temper. He's got a temper. And let's celebrate our national Acadian holiday with a little bit of a treat here from Vito Scarolitis. All right. Let's hear it. All right, Danny. Do you, do you prefer Dan or Danny? Dan. We've already lost a viewer. One note. I'm not surprised. There's the key.
little piece of Canadiana woodworking, Dan? Uh, I've heard better. Oh, you've heard better. Okay, like 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 who? Like who in the industry would would you have heard better from? Uh, do you know uh, a man named uh, Norman Marshall Villeneuve? Oh yeah, we know Norman uh, NMV. NMV. We. Well, he he jazz is better than that. Okay, now. We've got three loyal viewers in the front, and I've got, and now I'm starting to get a little more wet, like Gilmore. Like, oh, I'm straight Gilmore. out of the shower here. Gilmore-esque. Like Gilmore. Uh, viewers at home, if you have any questions for us, and our new friend here, Mr. Dan Bandana, the music critic. Uh, critic of all Canadiana, actually. The bookworm. We're true. The mogul. Uh, okay. The Italian Canadian snoot man. True. Pipe in a question for Mr. Dan Bandana, and we'll see if he's got the chops to lick your ice cream. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Dan, um, who's your least favorite Canadian of all time? Oh, God. Uh, what's the drummer's name from the Bare Naked Ladies? Uh, uh, Tyler McKetrick. I, maybe that sounds somewhat right. Yeah. I hate that guy. Well, you're not a fan of the Bare Naked Ladies. They're a very nope. charitable organization. Nope. nope. Right, who are they represented by? Uh, like industry-wise. Yeah, like who's their like rep? Oh, jackals. Jackals and. Prowls? What's your What's your beef, Dan Bandana? What's your problem? Um, they covered a Bruce Coburn song. Yeah. And I don't like Bruce Coburn either. Okay, what do you think of um, Corey Hart? You think he's... Nah. No? Nah. What's your problem with Corey Hart? Have you seen him lately? Oh, somebody just commented saying, um, how's a tribute to Billy Van's Wolfman that includes dancing with psychedelia and Canadian rock? And then Gordon Shawcross continues to say that David Usher is worse. What do you think of that? You think he's worse than Corey Hart? Uh, from Moist? Yeah, from Moist Towelette. I like moist. Yeah, we like moist toilet. You know what else I like? What's that? Um, I like cake. You like, oh, you like cake? Yeah, I like. Do you like like sweets and and confectionaries and baked goods? Yeah, remember that for later, cause I'm a big fan I, of I, like. I might go down into the basement and uh, bake you up something. You know how there's all this nonsense around bread being bad for you. Bread being bad for you. You ever hear that one, Dan Bandana? Like gluten? Yeah, like you and I are Italian Kowalchuks. I'm full of gluten. Yeah, we're all full of gluten. I'm glutinous. I'm like full of, uh, I got a really nice shot right now of your ear. Oh, which one? I don't have yours. Never mind. Hey, Dan, uh, what what do you say we, uh, I show you something? Do you want to learn something or, oh. or do you want to go get your buddy Famous? I pretty much learned it all, Rich, but uh, you can try. All right, Dan Bana, Dan Bandana. Uh, I have a hard time with your name. Do you ever get like when you're on the phone with like oh you're you're teasing me? Eh? When you're on the phone with people from the bank, are they like having a hard time with your last name, Bandana? That's a tough name to get out. Why would I be talking to a bank? Well, you're a big uh, industry mogul. I keep all of my money in a hockey bag. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who's your best friend? Who do you like to hang out with, like from the media? Who's your your biggest hang? Oh, like when oh. you're just kicking loose oh. on when you're when you're up oh, at Muskogee. Oh. Yeah, probably uh, Mike Wilner. I don't Mike even. Wilner. I don't even know that guy. Mike with Steve Simmons. You know Steve Simmons. No, I don't know these guys. Who are these cats? Are they from sports? Are they like Buck Martinez kind of wannabes? Buck Martinez. Do you know Ernie Witt? I know Witt. I so do I. Really? We hang. You hang out with Ernie Witt. Yep. All right. Throwing balls. Um, Different could, balls, like beach balls. Yeah. Footballs. Yeah. You want to go get famous? We're losing our viewers here, man. All right. I'll, I'm gonna go bake. All right. You go bake me a bread. All right. And watch, watch uh, this. Watch this. This now. All right. <laughs> Bye, Dan Vendetta. Wow. Wasn't he an arrogant prick? Did we? Did we? Did we? Oh, I'm sorry. I keep swearing. Let me show you something here, famous. I've been working on a new outfit. Okay, uh, it's a new trick. And by the way, if you have any comments, let me know what you think of this. Um, we're not blowing poodles today. We are blowing... Uh... Hey, 
Hey, Fat Moose. How oh. you doing? How you doing? Oh, the stairs are a nightmare. Now, oh yeah, you got bad knees. Now, how old are you in Moose Yar? In Moose Yar, I am only 41. You're only 41? You're spry. Yeah. You're spry. Yeah, but that's like 33 in Moose Years. I mean, in people years. Okay, in people years, it's 33. So, so what is that? Like a one to one to two ratio? Uh, 1.17, I believe. 1.18. Uh, can you hear us okay at home? Just text us at Friendly Rich or on the uh, on on the wall. Post something if you can hear us okay. What we're doing here is we're blowing a poodle. Oh, I'm gonna blow a poodle. Blowing a poodle. We're gonna. Oh. Oh! We got a popper. We blew a poodle and we got a popper. Entertain oh. them. Entertain them for a minute there. I think you're oh, okay. All right. Uh, let me uh, tell an interesting story about my friend Dan Van Dam. Yeah, you kind of sounded like him there with your oh. oh. That's his catchphrase. He doesn't use it unless he's on his own show, though. Uh, me and Dan. Okay. We met each other at a Blue Jays game. You did. Did you did you catch on that he's a big fan of the Blue Jays? Yeah, he's a big big fan, and he's in the industry. He hangs out with Showalter. Buck Showalter. Yeah, he's a Bucky boy. Uh, no, he's more of a Buck Mart. Have you ever heard of Buck Martinez? Yes. Buck Martinez. Yes, we've heard of Bucky boy. Buck Martinez. Yes. He uh, he he had that amazing home plate, like tag somebody with a broken neck or something. Yes, yes, we heard about this. Yeah. Yes. So yes. so yes. me, Dan Bandana. Yeah. Buck Martinez. Okay. Cito Gaston. Come on, stop hold it. On, hold on, John Olaru. Okay. Now you're uh, just naming the Bill whole... Builder Lego. You're just naming all of the men. Builder Lego. John... John... What was his name? What was his name? John... John... Ah, uh, uh, John... Ah, uh, John... John Brophy? Ah, uh, John... John Brophy? Was uh, he the mean yelling guy from the Leafs? John Brophy? Ah, uh, John Brophy with the hat. John... No. Wait, Pat Burns. Pat Burns. Ah, uh, Max Sundin. We were all... In a cab, going to a show. Okay. And Dan Bandana was critiquing the cab driver live, and we all got kicked out. You all got kicked out no, of the, the show. No, the cab. You got kicked out of the cab because Bandana got too arrogant. He critiqued the cab driver. Like he critiqued his routing. He said you should have taken Queen West instead of uh, uh, what uh, Matilda. He said he wasn't shoulder checking. What's that? Oh, what is oh. shoulder checking? I don't have shoulders. Oh, no. You know you don't. So I don't know what he meant, but the cab driver took it very personally. You know what? I've heard that... And you know who he kicked out of the cab? Go ahead. Builder Lego. Matt Sundin. Yeah. Um, That's a lot of Felix royalty. Potvin. That's a lot of royalty right there. Yeah. The, and Wendell Clark was in the trunk. Wendell Clark. What about uh, Rick Vive? Vive? You remember Rick Vive? Vive. I've, partied, I've partied with Vive. Vive. You ever party with Lehman? Did you know, I have a story about Rick Vive. What about Ally Afraidy? Ally Afrat. Yeah, go ahead with Rick Vive story. Rick Vive tried to start a juice company. Okay. It was going to be called Vive Alive. Vive Alive. But it was terrible. And well, so it, it was like Vive dead right away. It didn't work. Nope. Are you blowing that poodle yet? Like, have I yeah. bought enough time? Poodle is blown oh, and we, wow. we have got, do you want to take a peek at it? Just take a peek at it. Looks, well, looks looks pretty quality. Uh, what do you think it is at home, viewers? Comment. Uh, it's 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 supposed to be. I saw this online. It's supposed to be. Maybe that's more appropriate. It's supposed to be a flower. A flower in here. Oh. You sounded like Dan Bandana there again. Now that's proper. There it is. There's your flower. Oh, very, very nice. You Good like work. that? Good yeah. work there. Now that is going to be the prize of our upcoming quiz show. Oh. Whoever wins the quiz show gets this prize. Let we're me just. A, we're having a quiz show. We're doing a quiz show here. First time wow. on Rich and Famous. Wow. Welcome to the show, uh, viewers in the front and the back room. Thank you for joining us. Are you quizzing me? Uh, I'll quiz the kids. There's kids. Well, let's invite some kids into the room. No, just yell out for children. Uh, hi, kids. Is that how you call them? Hey, children. Hi, kids. Coming. Oh, coming. Where, coming. Are Where are they? Where are they? Look at this. Who we got? Who do we got? What do you go by? What do you go by? Francis. We got Francis. Franny Banani. What is your name? What is your name? What do you go by? Lewin. We got Francis. We got Lewin. And we've Lewin. got... Baby. 
Benny boy. We got Benny boy. Well done. It's, this is bonkers. This is bonanza. This is bonkers. All right, come on down. Come on down, guys, and sit with Famous. And oh, here we oh, go. Is yeah, come on in. And who do we got here? We got another. Uh, who, what do you go by? Lenerd. Lenerd. Okay. Lenerd. Now, now, Lenerd. Lenerd now we got Lenerd. Oh, oh. oh. We got Benny Boy. Oh. We got we got Famous. And this is for keeps. To win this, this poodle. This a musical poodle. This Canadian rock poodle. You need to answer four skill testing questions. Are you up for it? Yes. Yes. Are you into it? What yes. are we using for a buzzer? Definitely. What are we using for a buzzer? Moose calls. Oh. Are you ready? Yes. You, you need to come up with your own moose call. What does a moose sound like? No. Okay, here it comes now. Here it comes now. We're in the quiz show. That's terrible, by the way. That's not what we sound like at all. We're in the quiz show, Famoose. All right, all right. Please. Do you want the theme song first? Go for it. Moose, 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 quiz. That was awesome. I jazzed that. All right, everybody want to sing that with him now in harmony? Here we go. All right, good, 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 good. Here, we're gonna we're gonna sing that again in a minute. But here it is. Question number one. Are we ready? Yes. What is the average lifespan of a moose? Moose call. You got a moose call first. Oh, moo. Yes, friends. 80 years? 80 yard. What is that in human yard? Let's do the math. Bird? Bird. 80 yard. Is that right? Hang on. We're going upstairs. That is correct. She got it. One nil. One nothing for Franny Banani. Franny Banani. Who do we got here? We got, what do we got again? Lewin. Lewin. Franny. Benny, Benny boy. boy! And? Leonard. Leonard! That's a very French name. Leonard, okay. Francis is up one nothing, and they're playing for keeps. They're going for to win this onion ring. It's a balloon onion ring. Ooh. The steaks are high and the eggs are fried. Selection number two, the second question. Are we ready? Yes! yes. All right, I love the excitement, and we've got 15 viewers in the back room right now and three in the front. Let's not lose them. You can join in at home. The second question is, get ready with your moose calls. Are you on your buzzers? What is the tallest moose? Moo. <gasps> Go ahead, uh, Benny boy. 15 feet tall. 15 feet, he nailed it right on the foot. One all. We've got four viewers in the front. And, uh, 19 in the back! Whoa, we lost some. It's dramatic. It's exciting. They might be Googling these moose facts. It's dramatic. It's exciting. We're firing up now a skill testing question. Do you need a lifeline? <laughs> Do you need a lifeline? Yes, Moo. Good. Moo, she says yes. All right, you can ask me. Who are you calling? Francis. Let me see if I can zoom in. I zoomed in! Yes. Okay, who are you yes. Using as your, oh. your lifeline. Um who might know the most about mooses? Um Jess? Oh, she's going for Jess. Going for Jess. Um, Jess, are you with us? She's of course, she's not watching. <laughs> Let's go for somebody in the room that knows a lot about moose. Um Famous? Hey, okay, I'll be here. Okay, right. you are the lifeline. Famous, this is a tough question. So this is a question Ugh. for me. To be get, careful. Question for me to give points to Fran. Fran, which would make her go up <coughs> two, two, two to one. Benny boy got a point. Oh, that's right, that's right. Here we go. Are we nervous? Yep. Of course. The question is, have you ever eaten moose meat? <laughs> hey? Have I ever eaten moose meat? Yes. The answer is... Yes. Whoa. You're a cannibal. We've got a cannibal in the house. And the answer is yes. Don't judge. That gives Don't Francis judge. a two to one lead over Benny Boy. We've got a battle in the middle here. Here it is. The last question. Whoa. What's the, how long was the tallest moose? Moo. Moo, moo, moo. 
Oh, no, I, I heard the first move. Benny! Six feet long. Incorrect! That is not right. How can he be 16 feet high? Six feet. The question is, how long is the tallest moose? Move. Go ahead in the corner. Uh, Lewis. 18 feet. 18 feet for the win. That is correct. We got a one-all tie with Francis in the lead. Here it comes now. The final question. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Yes. 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 Okay, here it comes. What's the best moose marinade for all of you moose hunters out there? Whoa, whoa. Yeah, what? What are, what are you, offended? Whoa. Moo. Moo. Yes, Benny boy. Soy sauce and garlic. Soy oh. sauce and garlic. That oh. sounds delicious. Little Asian Italian flair there. Yeah, a little Italian fusion. Uh, the answer is... <laughs> Francis for the win. Francis for the win. Marmalade. Yes, keep going. Marmalade. I'm not impressed. Marmalade, keep going, make it more disgusting. Um, marmalade and worms? Marmalade and guck sauce, a worm spread. She wins! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is not fixed at all. What do you think at home? I don't know any of these um, questions. You get the scotch tape onion ring. Yay. Yay. Let's give her a hand at home. And Laura Matsy says milk. Add some milk on top. Wouldn't that be a delish? Now let me see something here. Laura Matsy, are you and Gordon Shawcross watching from the same location? This is an exciting thing because we've got three viewers in the front room. If two of them were in the same location, that would be bonkers. We all know Laura. Let's say hi to Laura. Laura has rubbed me down. Is that right? Yep, with, now, lin with liniment. Now, when you're getting a massage. Um, uh, what, a moussage. They're watching uh, in the same room, it's confirmed. That's very exciting well, so to now me. now our numbers are entirely. Through the roof and rigged. Oh, wow. Let's see what the birds think. One of those viewers could be like a thousand viewers. That's very exciting, but we've got 90 in the back room. We've never looked better in the back room. Now, Famous, when you're getting massaged, is that for a cooking? Is that like a cooking excursion? Uh, this is like the third question about eating moose in like four minutes. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I quit. What? I quit. Watch you... this, this now. He's quit. He's quit the show. Famous has quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. Famous is gone. It's okay. We want to congratulate Franny again for the win. We want to congratulate Franny again for the win. Famous is gone. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. He's quit the show. He's quit the show, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, but, but you know what? No problem that he's quit the show because look who we've got here. We've got our pal, our new bud, Dan Bandana. Dan, how you doing? Uh, probably better than uh, Famous. We just yeah. ran by, ran down the stairs, which he shouldn't be running downstairs at all. No, you shouldn't be running down the was, stairs. We've got our buddies here from Triumph. We've got Rick Emmett in the middle. We've got uh, Mike Levine on the stage right, and we've got uh, 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 Gil Malarchuk here, at stage left. Oh, Gil Malarchuk. And now let's go for our next segment, which is called uh, Banana Mana with Dan Bandana. Yeah, that's really well done. How do you keep all that stuff in your head? You're pretty smart, eh? Did you go to university? I did. Yeah, where'd you go? Where'd you just study? Let me guess. Indiana. Uh, Wolf Island. No. Where'd you, where'd you go? Indiana. Oh, you went Indiana with Dan Bandana, Canadian Mana. Well, no, I'm, yeah. Canadiana Mana with Dan Bandana? What's this all about? Canadiana Rama with Dan Bandana? That's my show. Canadian random with Dan Bandana, but what are we doing now? We're doing, uh... That's where I go, oh! Oh! We're going Canadian random with Dan Bandana? No, we're doing, uh, 
Banana Mana with Dan Bandana. Banana Manorama with Dan Bandana? Banana Manorama with Dan Bandana. Exactly. That's exciting. And what do we do with Banana Rama Man with, with Dan um, Bandana? Well, remember I said I was going to bake you something? Yeah, what were you doing downstairs? It smells real good in here, uh, by the way. Yeah. Delish. I baked some Banana Mana. Let me tell you something. Bowling Ball is very excited. Here, give me one second here. Watch, watch this dismount. All right. Oh, wait, can you do it again? It was on me instead of you. Oh, wait, hold on. He's back. Never mind. Okay, so what'd you bring up, Dan Bandana? Well, I didn't. You told me to come back. Oh, you came back. What were you going to do? You're going to descend? I was like, watch this dismount. That's like one of my catchphrases. Okay, let me hear it, Dan Bandana. Watch this dismount. Oh, what a fall. Was that nice? Yeah, it was Hell, really a heck nice. of a fall, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, whoa, whoa, what do we got here? What is this? What is this, a Ziploc bag? Yeah, full of banana mana. It's full of what? Banana mana. Banana mana. Banana mana. From Dan Bandana. Does anybody have any Canadian larics that they can help us with? Mm -hmm. What is that? Banana bread? Banana bread. Banana bread. Yeah, I think everyone calls it banana bread here. Oh, well, I think everybody calls it banana bread here. Whoa, Dan Bandana's getting bringing a snob out. Well, it's not banana bread. It's banana mana. It's banana what mana? The, what does the bag say on it? It says bandana bread. Bandana... What? Bandana bread. Is this like your family recipe? Uh, that's my fam's banana mana. You think it's a little dry you know or should... Who, you know who invented that? Who? My nana. Yeah, Dan you're... Bandana's nana's banana mana. Your nana... Whoa, say that again. Dan Bandana's banana rama no. grandma? Dan Bandana's nana's banana mana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dan Bandana's... Are you a fan of Dan Bandana's Nana's Banana Mana? Absolutely. <laughs> Can I repeat that? Let me try to repeat that. Hold on a second. I'm going to try some of your Nana's Banana Dan Bandana Rama Banna. All right, try it. It's oh. Mmm. Mmm. That is Fantana. It's fantastic. No, it's Fantana. Oh, it's Santana. It's Fantana. It's Fantana. It's Fantana. It's Fantana. It's Fantana. That is fantastic. You get it? it that is good banana man. That is good banana man. Now, how, how, uh... No, who, you know who invented that? Who? My Nana. You know what her name was? Wait. Hannah. What was your bandana Nana's name? Well, she actually went by two names. Go ahead. Her name was Hannah Anna. Hannah. And that's actually... Mm. Dan Bandana's Nana Hannah Anna's Banana Mana. Whoa, whoa, a mouthful. A mouthful of Dan okay. Bandana's Nana's Hannah Anna's Banana Mana? A mouthful of Dan Bandana's Nana's Banana Mana. And you know how she used to preserve it? Well, I have the pickle. She would can it. Mmm. So you could have a can of Dan Bandana's Nana Hannah Anna's Banana Mana. Dan Bandana, you are so exciting. This is a great, this is so good to learn from you and really good banana bread. Uh, pardon? That's a really good banana bread. It's banana mana. Banana -mana. And he said it was really good. Oh, I heard him, I heard him. But he could say it's really good ice cream. You want to try some? Yeah. Yeah. Give, right? give yeah. the children their daily manna. You want to eat a little already, bit of manna? Already had some Give them their day, their daily manna. You ate. Uh, you, you want a little bit of this banana banana? Wait, wait, wait. How could you have already eaten the banana manna when I just baked the banana manna? I just had the banana banana rama. Banana rama? <laughs> what? I just oh, ate yeah. the banana rama stana. I'll have some. I don't want any. You can't eat it. I'm Benny not. boy can't have any bananas. I that know. It's... Oh my god, this is so good. Oh my god, this is so good. It's Dan Bandana. Yeah. You ever. Oh, you ever... Yeah. <laughs> Dan... Hello. Hey, Dan Bandana. Stop how do you it. train for this? Where do you learn how to cook this? Uh, I went to school. I'm guessing your nana. A culinary school? Oh, okay, okay. Well, let me show you something. I'm going to teach you something now. All Come right. over with me, Dan Bandana. I'm going to teach you how to salt some popcorn. Because you, oh. you, 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 oh. you said you're an Italian Canadian. I am an Italian Canadian. I do know how to make Italian popcorn. All right, well, come here. I'm going to show you how to well, fire that up. You go how, ahead. How about I just watch from over here? Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. You want to watch from over there? You can watch from over there. Okay. Okay. 
Here we go, here we go. Dan, bam, bam, bam. You're gonna watch me fire up the popcorn. I'm gonna show you how to salt now, a know popcorn. Now, you use that air popper? Do I know how to use the air popper? Of course I know how to use the air popper. What do it look like? Um, do you want me to answer that? Yeah, what do it look like to you, Dan Bandana? Um, hey? B-level Canadian rocker. Okay, here we go. Okay, nice one, nice one. What do you write for, uh, what do you write? the court? Well, hey, what, what, what kind of publications have you written for over the years with that kind of snard? I have my own publication. Oh, you have your own publication. What's it called? You don't know. No, I'm not, I haven't ordered it for a while. What's it called? For a while. Well, you know, I got in there at first, but then, you know. <laughs> my, my publication uh -huh. is called The Cabbage Town oh Review. oh the cabbage town review okay well, very cool very cool well you're well you're a diy mogul you're what we call a mogul in the industry damn by now like now people ski on me yeah exactly people are skiing all over you now let me fire up i'm going to show you now how to how to how to salt a good popcorn oh now wait is this going to flick out top. yeah it is you need, you need a bowl. Need a bowl. All right, I'm gonna get a bowl. What do I look like? Do I look like? Uh, oh, I oh, what do I look like? What do I look like? I, I can't salt the popcorn. You look like a guy who doesn't know how to make popcorn. Okay, all right, okay, okay, damn bandana. Take it easy, okay? Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Well, you're gonna come on my podcast one of these days, damn bandana? Uh, yeah, sure. oh, okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So. I'm gonna put this here. If you want, you guys can hold that. Very good. Very. Good. Oh, you gotta get it right up. Okay. Len. Len. Len what is your name again? Leonard. 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 Okay. Popcorn. All right. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna fire this up. We're firing up the popcorn. Here we go. And then I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you, Dan Bandana, how to add salt to the popcorn. Okay. In Italian, because you're an Italian Canadian. You're an Italian Canadian, right? Okay. Italiana Marana. Oh, Italiana Rama with Dan Bandana. Hang on, kids. Hang on, kids. That's Here it comes. Podcast. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. Italiana Rama with Dan Bandana? Yeah. Here it comes. I'm firing it up. It's going to be hot, though. I've never used this before. What is this? An, is this an Italian? Is this like a lavazza? What do I look like? Okay, here we go. It's an Italian popcorn. Italian Canadian popcorn machine, but I'm going to show you how to salt. Oh, listen to that soundscape. This is a Murray Schaefer soundscape right here. Oh, we're popping those kernels. Oh. <laughs> oh. And we're firing up the popcorn here. I'm going to show you how to put some salt on that popcorn. Okay, that bandana. Oh. We got, a in. we got a kernel in. Oh. Very exciting soundscape. Oh, look at this shot. We got a killer shot here. Look at this shot. Look at this shot. Danny boy. All right, all right. I think he's going into shock. Dan Bandana's going into shock. Rock on, rock on, Dan Bandana, rock on. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're firing, we're firing. We don't even have any popcorn. Yeah, here we go, boys. Here we go, ladies. It's coming out, coming out. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Do not try this at home. Okay, Dan Bandana, you watching, Dan Bandana? Although it is like... Here we go, Dan Bandana. Yeah, okay, got it. Got it. We're going to go with... Uh, I'm going to teach you how to say this because this is an Italian lesson. Oh, okay, Dan Bandana? Right. Tommy! So repeat with me, okay? So, uh, Dan Bandana, here we go. Right. Tommy! Tommy! Well done, Dan Bandana. Tommy! Can you say that with me? Uh, pop. Tommy! Can you Popcorn! Sammy! Let me show you the Popcorn! Alright, alright. That's. Okay, let's Yeah, did you get it? Now that is. Nice. Now that is a healthy dose of Lou popcorn. Alright, so how do you season popcorn in your Italian family? Well, we're gonna put a little bit of the Heinz on that. The Heinz? Oh yeah. I'm gonna ketchup chips. Is this like yeah. ketchup chips? I mean, these guys are all loving it. Mmm. Very right, right. salty treat. A salty treat. And that is how you salt no, the popcorn. And look at this. Look at this. You need spice. They are going for it. They are going for it. They are enjoying it. Dan Bandana's gonna try it now. Dan Bandana's gonna try it now. He's gonna have it. Oh, oh, he's eating it. Son of a gun, Dan Bandana, son of a gun. Yeah, have a spoiler of a lobster. Oh, see your mouth. Oh, check it out. Oh, check it out. Oh, Dan Bandana's oh. having something. Disgusting. Disgusting. You don't like it? What? You like your mother's sauce a little more, right? Uh, my mother's sauce. Yeah, your mother's sauce is a little better, I know, but we didn't you have any, so we salted that up. Saying we need spice. Lenard is, is is saying we need a little more spice. So that was the show, ladies and gentlemen. Rich and Famous, episode nine. We're gonna get into the final installment. Are you ready? I'm ready. No, 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 no. This is the end of the show. Thank you for viewing. We got two viewers in the front who I assume are in the same room, but we're not making assumptions. Let's get into it. This is a rap battle with Dan Bandana. Let's get into it, Danny boy. Yeah. What, I mean, Dan, I'm Dan. Where are you, Dan? Who's you, rapping? What? Okay, Dan Bandana. Who's yeah. rapping? Who's yes. rapping? Yes, Dan? I just got a message from Famous. Oh, yeah? It's dirty. What's dirty? His message. Go ahead, go ahead. We Famous has quit the show, so talk to me. It said... You suck. <laughs> who, who, me? Like, <laughs> me directly? I suck? No. It said you suck. Like, whoever's reading it would oh, suck. Oh, okay, so you just read it, Dan. Yeah, and it hurt my feelings. So you I, suck? No, I don't. I don't. No. No. So obviously, yeah. this is very upset. And yeah. I think you need to apologize. All right, all right. Okay. We will do that. We will do what's right because we want the show to linger on, right? Episode Unless. ten is coming up. We Unless. don't want. We want to go into double digits now, Danny. Unless. Yes, Danny boy. Band Danny boy. You keep me on as a co-host, then I don't really care what happens to Pimus. Ooh, the what? Rich and Bandana. Rich. Rich, rich. and Dan Bandana's <laughs> Canadian Arama Extravaganza. Okay, well, that sounds like it's got legs. It immediately, even you just saying that, put another viewer in the front room. Well, so, can you repeat that again real fast? That would be Rich and Dan Bandana's Canadiorama Italiana Extravaganza. Wow, that sounds like it's got legs. We just lost a viewer, though. Oh. Uh, can Why? you Can you rap that if I give you a beat? Can I give you a beat? Oh, yeah. I rap. I yeah. rap. I am a musician. Okay, here we go. We need some beat. Give me a beat. Danza. Nice. Let me drop a stanza. Oh. I'm a tiny dancer. Full of romance. All right, you, gotta, you guys gotta give me some words. All right, give me a word. Where are all these kids? Bicycle. 
bicycle. bicycle. I was driving my bicycle. It's got two wheels. It's not a tricycle. I drove it under a house. It was thawing and I got hit by an icicle. Oh. 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 <laughs> Next word. Okay, toe, toe, toe. Toe, toe. toe. Oh. Toe, 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 rope, Africa. Nice. Uh, Appropriate. Appropriation. 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 I appropriate anything I want. Cause I'm the kind of guy who can really flunk all the words. And I know all the names like Bill Burr, Lego, winning hockey games. Flop. Flop. Yeah, flop. 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 Like Unc when Lee Rich's last album was a flop. Oh, even which... though I thought it was destined to go to the top. Oh. 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 Well, well so you're like, like you're like rapping like um, okay. Canadian criticism in your rap. Say that's this pretty is cool. A can con rap. Okay, okay, let's do another one. Catch her. Uh, Polaris. Polaris. Polaris prize, Polaris prize. I'd rather get poked in my spare eyes. I don't want to win the Polaris prize. I'd rather get punched in my meaty thighs. Oh, nice. Catch up. And what about what about um, Junos? Junos. Juno what? Juno what? I'm not kissing no Juno butt. Wow. Juno why? Juno why? I'm better than all those you know guys. Do you know where? Do you know where? I'm sitting in my underwear while the Junos are on. The TV's not on, and I'm not watching because I'm Tron. Watching Tron. Whoa! And now for a finale, yeah. for a finale, for a finale. Could you could you do a? Uh, let's just let's just let's just settle down here, guys. Settle down. Settle down. Love song style. Let's just settle down here. We're ending the show. And Famous, and Famous, we do apologize. We hope you'll be back next month, Famous. Famous. Episode nine or six. Episode nine or six, according to Dan Bandana. Famous, we hope to see you again. We're sorry that you quit the show. If you're watching downstairs in the basement, thank you to all of our viewers at home who have been checking in here. In the front room, we've got two. In the back room, we've got 98. What do you think of that? That's wow, good. that's nice. Those are pretty good numbers. And well done, everybody. Well done, everybody. This is Friendly Rich, and this is our new friend. Bam, bam, bam. Saying goodbye, signing out from, from Rich and Famous HQ. And I just want to have one thing left to say. That was episode nine. Go ahead, Dan Bandana. You get the last word. All right, the last word. Alouette, jante alouette, alouette, je te plumerai, je te plumerai, madone, je te plumerai, madone, et madone, et madone, et la faute, et ma faute, et donc, et au, 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 alouette, au, 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 au,